Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, Ash Peter, again here at the Lost Coast Populous. Um, I don't know if you guys got it. I sent an email out to all of you last week and, and the uh, Eureka City Council members about um, someone who was uh, arrested for you know indecent exposure just because they're um, like part of the Sisters of Perpetual Indulgence and you know the that group has um, been present at a lot of events, you know, recently with you know children present, and like no one responded to the email that I sent. I thought that was kind of, kind of, you know, um, yeah, just not disheartening, I guess. But anyways, um, after a deeper dive into the arrested individual's online presence, um, it revealed a disturbing pattern. Clinton Ellis Gilmore, a.k.a. Novice Sister Be The Cock Him, Facebook page, there is an image featuring a pacifier, a lollipop, a popsicle, and an erect penis, which the caption read, Shh, it's all right. You've been preparing for this your whole life. There's nothing short of alarming. Also, Gilmore's involvement in the Drag Queen Story Hour event through Sisters of the Perpetual Indulgence further raises concerns about the content children are exposed to and the character of those presenting it. But yeah, um, also um, the, the presence of uh, satanic Im uh, imagery on his Facebook stuff was concerning and claims to be an atheist, but a lot of satanic um, reference there. In a fair world, the children might be protected, the protected class, not the grown men whose namesake of their organization promotes Perpetual indulgence, constant sexual gratification. Like one of Gilmore's Facebook post highlights, as a free pass from acts which might be considered sinful, stating, "May pleasure be your god, lust your temple, and sex your sacrament." In a world that values morality and justice, the innocence of young children should always take precedence over the personal indulgence and ideologies of grown men. A just society would prioritize the protection of children regardless of the protected class and sexual identities and preferences belonging to the grown men seeking their audience. It is our collective responsibility to advocate for media transparency and hold our elected officials accountable and protect the truly vulnerable class, the children of our community. So please take a look at the, the article we did on lostcoastpopulous.com for anyone who's interested in this you know, disturbing story. Thank you. Thank you.